Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Tom Ogami. Today we are back once again for part number four of the Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Freddy Fansburn's Pizzeria Restaurant. Uh, and of course, if you haven't seen parts one to three, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a playlist where you can check them out. Of course, we have built everything you can see in front uh, of us right now, including the first half of the interior structure. Uh, and again, that was what we were covering in part number three. In part number four today, we are going to be hopefully making some progress on the rest of the interior, finishing up the actual walls and structure of the build. And then we'll come back in future parts, probably five and six, and start adding all the crazy detail and the ceiling uh, to the build. But anyways, as I said, what we'll do in this section, we'll start off actually by listing off the blocks you'll need. Uh, so if you want to pause here, you're more than welcome to do so. These are the blocks you'll need for this part of the tutorial. And that's going to consist of black concrete, black wall, green terracotta, blue terracotta, uh, gray concrete, gray concrete powder, light gray concrete, light gray concrete powder, never brick, dark oak planks, clay, polished diorite, bricks, blue wall, blue concrete, yellow concrete, dark oak stairs, never brick stairs, brick stairs, stone brick stairs, stone slabs, uh, some never brick slabs, brick slabs, dark oak slabs, white glass, uh, cobblestone walls, dark oak fences, some daylight sensors, pink carpet, yellow carpet, lime carpet, light blue carpet, and also some stone buttons. So I'm going to grab those all into my inventory. Uh, the good news about this part of the build is it's going to be very similar in structure to what we were working on last time in terms of very much I'm going to mark out what we're doing and then the majority of the building is going to be off camera. It's very very self-explanatory. Of course we're still going with the same kind of thesis as we were before. So above all of the concretes we're going to have concrete. Above all of the walls we're going to have concrete powder and again it's going to be four tall for the light grey sections and three tall for the grey section so that's going to continue into this segment of the build uh, but what we are going to do is we're going to come to this section the uh, dining room the main hall the stage area if you will and we're going to start with the corridor without further ado let's get straight into building just before we jump into building, I want to give a little bit of time to talk about an awesome gift that I was recently sent by BenQ, and that's the BenQ Screen Bar E Reading Lamp. I want to clarify quickly at the start that whilst I was gifted this for free, I've not been paid to say anything particularly positive about the product, uh, but I am going to be talking and highlighting about it because I've really enjoyed using it, and I think it's an awesome product that you all may get some benefit out of also using. Uh, so what is it? It's essentially a monitor light, which you put above, of course, your monitor, and it lights up your desk and the front of the screen. It prevents reflection reflection on the screen, you know the glare of the background, you can see reflections, gets rid of that completely, also helps with eye strain when you're looking at a monitor for several hours, I know me personally, I'm looking at 12-13 hours a day and normally in the night, so I'm sitting here in the dark, really bad for your eyes, so this is again a massive help for that and has mean that I've been able to work a lot longer hours and not have those kind of constant headaches, which is super, super nice. Now essentially, you can see on the screen, I've done a little unboxing, in the box you can see three kind of core items, you've got the light bar itself, you've got a weighted clip and a USB cable, nice and simple. Clip them together, pop it on top of your monitor, plug it in, that is it set up, done, no drivers, nothing at all, again super super easy. It's USB powered which means you can plug it into your PC, your laptop or alternatively a power bank if you're on the go, so again mobile and it has various settings so temperature and brightness settings, warm and cool, can make it a more orangey colour if you're like that. Uh, personally I prefer the cooler colours, so the light kind of blue colour but again whatever takes your preference. In the background you'll also be able to see me using it on my own setup, apologies it's not the cleanest at the moment, but you can see in the dark and in the light it really really helps illuminate the desk, the keyboard and everything in between. It's been perfect for me for university, as I said I've been writing a lot and also just working through the night preparing videos for all of you to watch. Uh, so again a huge thank you to BenQ for the awesome gift, I really do enjoy it and if you want to check it out yourself I'm going to leave links in the description to Amazon if you want to purchase one or alternatively the BenQ website and the BenQ Twitter if you want to read a bit more about it, find out some more information. Again, all that information will be in the description down below. So again, a huge thank you to the folks over at BenQ. And now let's jump straight into building. 
Okie dokie, so again, we're going to head through the door right here, we're going to swivel round immediately, face back to the door we have just walked through, and what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves our nether bricks. We're going to leave a one block gap in between the nether brick we already have here, and then what we're going to place, we're going to build up one, two, three, four, five, and six, and we're going to do the exact same on the right side, uh, as I've done incorrectly, we're going to leave again a one block gap. What we're then going to do is in between this, we are going to shuffle around. We're going to place four of our white glass. And then on top of the white glass, we're going to place a row of six daylight sensors. Underneath the glass, we're going to grab ourselves our never brick slabs. And we're going to place a row of four never brick slabs. It's going to be the exact same as what we've done for the previous layer. Uh, what we can do is we can extend the glass in the middle. So we can extend it one block uh, in the middle, place a row of never brick slabs underneath. We'll also place a uh, never brick either side in the top half here, and then in the gaps, we're going to place a row of cobblestone walls. So, again, a row of cobblestone walls in between the two sections of the doors. Uh, and then what we can also do is below this, and again, this is getting very much into details already, nice and straight into the action, is we can continue with the floor pattern. So next to the polished diorite, obviously black concrete. Next to black concrete, obviously uh, polished diorite. And then we're going to continue this into the new section, as I said, which is going to be the hallway. So that's the first step. That is the door. And the good news about this is everything you can see around it is going to be what uh, is visible. So we don't need to worry about building anything next to it. What we are going to do is on the right side, we are going to leave a two block gap. And on the third block, this one here, we are going to start extending it towards us. So we're going to extend it towards us by 18 blocks. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And then we're going to swivel round. So we're now facing towards what we have just built. On top of this, we're going to alternate. So you can see here, we've got black wall, black concrete. So we're going to start off with black wall and we're going to alternate between the two blocks going all the way across the length of this 18 wide section. So again, we'll go back and we'll fill in black wall in the middle. And then above this, we're going to continue the pattern. So again, if you watch part three, you'll know lots and lots of kind of going between the blocks. So above all of the black walls, we're going to place a green terracotta. And then in between all of these, we're going to place a blue terracotta. And we're going to alternate this for the second layer. So for the second layer, we'll start off with blue and of course place blue on top of all of the green and then on top of all the blue we will place green as I said before and it will give us this lovely pattern and then above that we're going to go back to our black wall and our black concrete so we're starting off with black wall and then we go back in all the gaps and place our black concrete and it's as simple as that. What we're then going to do is we are once again as a quick refresher going to grab ourselves our light grey concrete and our light grey concrete powder. Of course, on top of the wall, we're going to build up concrete powder. So we build up four on top of all of them. So again, that's up four using light grey concrete powder. Try not to drop them all over the floor like I've done there. Uh, it just makes it a little bit of a mess. And then what we go ahead and do is on top of all the concrete, the black concrete to be more specific, we're going to alternate with our light grey concrete. So again, four tall in total. And then once we've done that, we're going to go back above all of this and we're going to do the equivalent. So on top of the concrete powder, just using grey concrete powder. But this time, again, we're only building up three blocks in total. So three blocks in total, exact same pattern above the concrete place concrete, above the concrete powder place concrete powder. Of course, we're just using the normal gray variety instead of the lighter version. And that's going to be that. That's going to be the wall. Uh, what we'll also do, as we've been doing on the previous sections, is we'll grab ourselves our dark planks, our dark oak planks, and our dark oak stairs. We'll start off by placing one of our stairs, we'll place one plank, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do the whole two stairs, one plank, two stairs, one plank, and we'll do this all the way across. And then on top of this, we are gonna do a row of dark oak slabs. So again, this is the gist of the build. This is gonna be consistent around most of the build, unless again, I kind of mention otherwise, and that's gonna be our first section. So what's gonna be breaking up this first section is we're gonna grab ourselves our clay blocks, and this is gonna go into a doorway, uh, which is gonna go into kind of like the little arcade slash playroom. So what we're gonna do is to the side of the dark oak stairs here, we are gonna build up four 
using clay block. So one, two, three, and four. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves our stone slabs. We're going to place a stone slab, go one, two, three to the right. And then underneath this, we're going to build up using our clay blocks. So essentially, we've got a four and a half tall by four wide doorway. What we're going to do is in the middle, we're going to build down one using stone slabs, and it's going to end up looking something like this. What we're then going to do is behind this, we are going to go from the clay block diagonal to this block right here. So that's going to be one black concrete. We're then going to go one, two, three to the right. And then on top of this, we're going to alternate. So again, black wall first. And then on top of that, we'll go green terracotta first, intersect the blue terracottas, green terracotta, and of course, back to the black wall and black concrete and it's going to end up looking like this now of course you can see behind the doorway it's going to be visible so we're going to build across so behind the stone slab we're going to go wall concrete wall concrete should line up perfectly and then we'll continue our pattern so again above all of the light uh, or on top of all of the wall sorry we'll place our concrete powder and on top of all the concrete we will place our concrete so again very very self-explanatory just running through at this early point in the build obviously because as the build progresses i'm not going to be repeating this over and over again hopefully you'll have the idea by then so let me finish up this part of the build and then we will speed up the process a little bit because again it's very very similar to what we spent most of the last video doing um of course i don't want to say that the build is too symmetrical because then it gives away the idea that it's boring it's not uh, but of course once we start adding the detail that's where really most of the personality of the build is going to be coming into play so that's going to be the wall again this wide uh section is 18 and then this section here is nice and simple four and a four block gap in the middle of course as we've done previously grab back your dark oak stairs we're going to place two stairs plank we're then going to place two stairs and we'll wrap around the corner and it's going to continue onto the next section as i said that's going to go into a separate room we'll come back to that and work on it in a moment uh, for now we're going to build the main corridor which leads down to the office area and then we'll come back and crack on with the side rooms so let's follow this wall round as you can see here we've wrapped it around a corner and we're going to continue this now this is going to head down to the office area which is going to be located just down there uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our black concrete and we're going to extend from here 19 blocks to the right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So it's 20 blocks in total. Again, we're going to alternate between the black concrete and the black wall for our second layer. And then on top of all of this, again, our green terracotta and our blue terracotta. So the first one's going to be blue. So of course, on top of all of the black walls, we're going to place green terracotta. We're then going to fill in the gaps using our blue terracotta. And then we're going to add a second layer. Hopefully, at this point, again, you get the idea. Uh, we'll just be doing the base layers of the wall to kind of measure it all out, if you will. Um, and then we'll just crack on and focus on primarily the details of each area. So again, above all of the uh, blue terracottas at the top, we'll place a black wall. Fill in the gaps using black concrete. And then again, above concrete, place concrete. Above wall, place concrete powder. Four tool for the light grey free tool for the gray section. I'm not going to do that. I'll do that off camera. Again, save you all a bit of time, uh, but hopefully it's all making sense so far. Anyways, for the next section, what we're going to do is we are going to grab back our clay blocks. So again, let's grab the clay and we're going to go diagonal forwards from this black concrete here. We're going to build up four. So one, two, three, four. On top of here, we are going to once again return to the stone slabs. We're going to place one, two, three, four. We're going to build up using our clay blocks and then down two in the middle using our stone slabs. That's going to be door number one for party room number one, if you will. Again, behind the top of the door, go black concrete, black wall, black concrete, black wall, just so it continues over. And again, the pattern on top will also continue over as expected. Uh, on the floor level, going back to this clay block here, we're going to go diagonal backwards. And here we're going to place a row of eight black concrete. So again, that's eight black concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then what we're going to do again, exact same, this time starting off with black concrete, alternate between the two. And again, follow the exact same pattern as we have before. We'll start off on the second section with blue terracotta, alternating between the blocks. And then second row, again, exact same applies uh, above again it should continue over so we left off with black wall lines up perfectly that's going to be black concrete and then fill in all the gaps with black 
wall. Now with this section, I am going to build up one layer of the light greys, uh, and there's a very good reason behind that. So let's grab ourselves the light grey concrete and the light grey concrete powder. Of course, above the black concrete, we'll place our light grey concrete. Above the wall, we'll place the concrete powder, and I'll do this just for this little section. I'll do it too high, uh, but it doesn't matter. In fact, I'll, I'll just build it up to the top. So four high, and again, of course, on top of that, we would build up three high using the grey uh, variant of these blocks. The reason I've specifically done this section is because there is a little detail. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to come to the second layer of the green and blue terracotta. We'll come to the third block and we're going to place an upside down dark oak stair. We're then going to grab ourselves a dark oak slab. We're going to place two slabs and a stair. We're then going to leave one layer and we're going to repeat the exact same. So a little kind of shelf in the middle of the corridor. Again, nothing too major. The majority of the detail will come in the next parts of the video. Uh, but again, this is kind of a structural detail more than it is a little detail, hence the inclusion in the video. Anyways, going back to the next step, we're going to grab ourselves our clay blocks once more, and we're going to go diagonal again. One, two, three, four up. Stone slab, one, two, three to the side. Clay all the way up, and then two stone slabs in the middle. We're then going to go black concrete, black wall, black concrete, black wall, and that's going to continue behind. And again, the pattern, so it would go uh, light grey concrete, concrete powder, light grey concrete, light grey concrete powder, all the way across. On the bottom, we're going to go back to the clay block here. We're going to go diagonal backwards. We're going to place a row of six black concrete. So once again, six black concrete. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to start off on this one using black concrete wall and alternate between the two. Uh, in terms of the next layer, it's going to be blue starting off first, fill in the gaps with green. And then again, second layer, fill in the gaps with blue. And then we'll continue. So black concrete and then blue, or not blue, uh, black wall is what I meant to say, and that's going to be this section of the wall. So again, just to give you the measurements for the first section on the far left corner, it's going to be 20 blocks wide, 19 if you're adding on to the original one from the side. The middle is going to be 8 wide, and the side is going to be 6 wide. Of course, they're all going to have this pattern, uh, but I will do this off camera, and you'll also want to make sure to do the whole one plank, two stairs, one plank, two stairs, all the way across with a solid row of slabs using our dark oak blocks. So again, very, very simple. We're now going to wrap this round. So essentially, this is going to curve round to the right. So we're going to face towards this wall. And that is where the door to the office area is going to be. So again, quite the famous, if you will, scene uh, from within the game where you're sitting. This is going to be the doorway into said area. We're going to grab ourselves our black concrete. We're going to go diagonal from here. We're going to place one, two, three black concrete. We are then going to grab ourselves our never brick. And we're going to place a never brick diagonal forwards from the block. We're then going to leave a three block gap, one never brick. We'll go diagonal backwards and we're going to place three black concrete. So again, a three block gap in the middle and then diagonal forwards each side for the never brick. What we're going to do is on the sides, we're going to start off, we'll go concrete, wall, concrete. And then above this, because we've got the green terracotta here, we'll go blue and then one green in the middle, and then the next layer, green, and then one blue in the middle, and of course, concrete, wall, concrete on top. Exact same pattern applies moving on up. Uh, we'll also go across, so we will start to bridge. Um, in fact, we won't bridge, and the reason why we won't uh, is we'll actually go ahead and use a row of five never brick slabs. So one, two, three, four, five. And what we'll do is we'll extend this forwards one, so it forwards a layer like so. What we're going to do is underneath this, we are going to start off on the bottom by placing a never brick stair facing forwards. Behind this, we are going to grab ourselves our never brick back and we're going to place one, two, three, four. And if I go up uh, another half blocks, so we'll have to grab back the slabs. Uh, so again, another half and then same with this one, one, two, three, four and a half to bring us up to the top. So you can kind of see the shape of the door. We're going to go down a slab on either side at the front, underneath that an upside down stair, and then we're also then going to grab ourselves a dark oak fence, and we're going to place a dark oak fence on either side. What we'll then do is we'll grab ourselves our stone buttons, stone button in the top left and top right corner, and it's going to end up looking something like this. In terms of the floor, this is one of the only areas where it kind of goes away from the whole uh, black and white, or black and diorite, should I say, uh, theme. 
So what we will do is we'll grab ourselves our yellow concrete. We're going to start off in front of the another brick here. We'll go black concrete either side, and we're going to place a yellow. We're then going to bridge out either side, black concrete. Uh, and then here we're going to punch out one, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to grab ourselves our stone brick stairs. And we are going to place, starting on the right side, two stone bricks facing forwards. We're then going to flip around and go two facing towards the yellow and black. And then we'll flip once more and then go like so. So again, it gives us this kind of weird crisscross pattern. And then behind this, we'll go back to the yellow and black. Uh, we'll start off with one yellow in the middle and black either side. And then one black in the middle and yellow either side. That's getting too much into the office. We'll come back to it in a bit. Uh, in the section here, we'll just place yellow and uh, black just to fill it in. Doesn't really matter. Same with this side. So again, that's just uh, small little details. Uh, so that it, or let me flip it actually, so that it is actually uh, lined up properly. Uh, but again, we'll worry about that more once we get into the actual office area. Continue on this side, again, we are going to do the exact same. So black concrete either side, black wall. We're then going to place blue either side with green, green either side with blue, and then concrete uh, and wall in the middle. Now, of course, exact same logic applies. So we'll then on the process of up four using our light gray concrete, concrete powder, concrete. And we're going to continue this across uh, on top of the never brick slabs we placed previously. So we do this all the way across and then we're going to build up on top of this the exact same, just using the gray variants. And it's going to be three blocks tall instead of four. With regards again to the dark oak, nothing changes. So we go ahead and grab ourselves our dark oak stairs and our dark oak planks. Uh, what we can go ahead and do is place a dark oak plank in the corner and then we'll place two stairs like that. Uh, and then of course, on top of all of this, we will place a row of three dark oak slabs at the top. And that's gonna again, continue around on this corner and also onto the right side. Again, I don't want to do it on camera because it will take quite a long time and I'm sure you'll get bored watching, uh, but hopefully you get the idea. Okie dokie, so for the next section, we're gonna curve around once more to the right side. This is gonna be kind of going back on ourselves to actually finish off the corridor. This is arguably, again, gonna be the longest part of the corridor. Uh, so again, a lot of blocks to be placing. There's gonna be various rooms and doors coming from the side. Uh, so again, we'll have to worry about that, but we'll run for it step by step. So what we're gonna do is diagonal from the black concrete here just to the side of the dark oak. We're gonna place a black concrete and we're gonna extend five blocks to the right. So one, two, three, four, and five. So six blocks in total. Above this, we are going to place black wall first, alternating between the two. And above this, we're gonna go green terracotta first, alternating uh, again with the blue terracotta. And then finally above again, starting off with the black wall and alternating with the black concrete again above this we'll place light gray concrete powder light gray concrete concrete powder etc etc we are then going to grab ourselves our clay blocks again we're going to have another door so these are the doors to the party rooms one two and then we're about to have three and four what we're going to do is we're going to go diagonal and from here we're going to go one two three four we'll leave a two block gap and again we'll build up four we're then going to grab ourselves our stone slabs and we'll place a row of four stone slabs, two in the middle, and then behind it will continue again. So black wall, whoops, concrete wall and concrete. And again, that's gonna continue over. To the right of the clay here, we're gonna go diagonal backwards. We're gonna place a row of eight black concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on top of this, again, we're gonna start off with black wall. We're gonna alternate with the black concrete. We're then gonna start off with green terracotta. So above all of the uh, black walls, we're gonna have a green terracotta. And then on all the different corresponding diagonal blocks, we're gonna have a blue terracotta. Again, right here, we've got black wall, lines up perfectly. So above all the blue terracottas, a black wall. Above all the greens, we're gonna have a black concrete. Again, just like we did on the other side, I'm gonna build up this section. So above the wall, I'll just build up four. Uh, and again, the reason behind this is because there is going to be a shelf specifically on this section. Uh, but again, you get the idea. This is like this for all the build uh, so far. It's just, of course, I'm only building it on the sections that actually require it. So we'll grab ourselves our dark oak stairs and our dark oak slabs. We're gonna to come to the second layer of the green and blue 
third block and we're going to again do upside down stair, two slabs upside down stair, leave a one block layer gap and then exact same logic. So on the first layer of the greys or the light grey should I say to be more specific, we're going to have another set of shelves. What we're then going to do is we are going to go diagonal at the front corner here and we're going to build up again four, leave a two block gap, four row of our stone slabs going across uh, the top here with the two in the middle that's going to be a door again to another party room we're going to go black wall black concrete black wall black concrete and that's going to be that section nice and simple so again if you want to pause you're more than welcome to do so again i will be completing it off camera uh, but for the purpose of the video and not boring everyone again that will be off camera so let's continue now over to the right side from the clay block here, we're going to go diagonal backwards, and this time we're going to do 11 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 blocks in total. Again, we're going to start off with black wall all the way across, black concrete in between. On top of this, we're going to do green terracotta on top of all of the black wall with the blue terracotta in between and then alternating again for the second layer. I know it's boring, I know I'm repeating myself, but again, it's just a really hammer home uh, how simple it is. But again, the main consideration is just the measurements. So 11 wide, that's the main thing you want to consider. What we'll then do is we're going to grab ourselves our clay blocks and we're going to go diagonal forwards here. One, two, three, four. We'll leave a two block gap up four. And then we're going to place again in the middle two slabs of the stone variety, four across the top. And we're going to bring the black concrete, black wall, black concrete and black wall behind the door. This is going to go into the kind of behind the scenes areas like the repair shop, all that good stuff. Um, and again, it's going to be a whole other section. There's like three or four rooms we've got in this section. And then, of course, the two party rooms, the arcade room, lots to work on. Uh, but anyways, from this door, again, we're going to have another gap and we're going to have another door. So what we're going to do is we're going to go diagonal backwards from the clay. We're going to place a row of five this time. So again, that's five black concrete. We're going to start off this time with black concrete, black wall in the middle. We're going to place blue terracotta with green terracotta in the middle. And then we're going to alternate and on top again, go concrete with wall in the middle. From here, we're going to go diagonal forwards again, and we're going to have yet again another door, hopefully. Again, simple enough at this point, four tall either side, two stone slabs in the middle, four across the top, and then behind, just extend it all the way across so there's not a gap, and the various concrete powder and concrete doesn't fall down and crumble around you. From here, we are going to extend a further six blocks, so diagonal, we're going to go six blocks to the right, this time we're going to start off with black wall for the second layer. We're going to start off with green terracotta for the third and then blue terracotta for the fourth. On top of this, we're going to again alternate. So above all of the blue, place wall. Above all of the green, place concrete. And that's going to be that section. From here, we're going to swivel around. So right around to this side. And we're going to go on the home straight back to the entrance. So the final kind of section of the build or of this part of the build, should I say, to be more specific. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go diagonal from the black concrete here. We're going to go one, two, three, and uh, we'll leave it like that for now. So three. What we'll then do is we'll grab ourselves our bricks and we are going to place three bricks. And then we are going to place six black concrete so again three bricks and six black concrete above this and this is going to be a slightly kind of tricky area to uh, get by but we'll, we'll work for it so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our black wall so we'll place a black wall a black concrete a black wall we're then going to leave a free block gap and we'll go wall concrete wall concrete wall concrete on top of this again it's a bit of a tricky area we're going to place green terracotta blue terracotta green and blue we are then gonna leave a free block gap and then on top of the black concrete here we're gonna go blue green blue green blue above this for our next layer we're gonna go blue green blue we'll leave a one block gap and we're gonna go blue green we're then gonna leave again a one block gap green blue green blue green so again that's gonna be this section and then for the final layer, we are going to go black wall, concrete, wall, concrete, wall. And then we're going to leave one block. We're then going to go one wall, concrete, wall, concrete, wall, and concrete. And it ends up looking something 
like this. So in this section, there's going to be a bunch of details. Obviously, we're not going to be leaving it empty. So what we are going to do is we're going to grab ourselves our brick stairs and our brick slabs. So let me grab those into my inventory. What we're going to do, starting on the second layer, we're going to have two brick stairs facing towards the right side. We're then going to have a brick slab on the upper half of the block. So on this row, it's again two stairs facing towards the right side and one slab on the upper half. On the next layer, it's going to be one slab on the lower half. We're then going to have one brick block and an upside down stair facing towards the left side. So again, just to recap, that's a slab on the lower half, a full block and a stair upside down facing towards the left. For the next layer in this gap here, we're going to place one brick slab. We're then going to have a brick stair facing towards the right side. In this one gap, we're going to have a brick stair upside down facing forwards. And then above this, we are going to place a light grey concrete and we're going to have a brick stair facing towards the right side. Above said brick stair will continue like normal so we'd have one two light grey concrete and then either side again we just continue as if it's not there. It is part of the build that is intentional so again it's four tool for all these sections alternating between the different uh, light grey concrete and light grey concrete powder and again further up for the next three layers using our grey uh, variants so again it's just part of the build uh, one thing to consider though go around to the rear side and behind all of the gaps where there's light that is visible go ahead and place a black concrete uh, and again what that does is make sure that you can't see through into the other room there will be circumstances where we want that uh, behind the one at the top maybe go ahead and place a light grey concrete again just so it gives it a bit more of a kind of uniform look with the rest of the wall uh, there are situations where we'll punch a few holes but for now just keep it empty uh, what we will also do is regarding the dark oak stairs and planks uh, with this section here we'll start off with one plank two stairs we'll then leave a three block gap and we'll place one plank two stairs plank two stairs and of course on top of all of this go ahead and place your rows of dark oak slabs but for these three blocks in front of the uh, brick we're going to leave it empty for now and we'll come back again and worry about that once we start cracking on with the details in the next section of the tutorial so what we're going to do is we are going to move on now so heading back towards the right side we are going to build another door so this is going to go into one of the restrooms so we're going to build up one two three four we're then going to grab ourselves our stone slabs so we're going to grab stone slab one two three to the right underneath one two and then one two three and four that's going to be door number one we're then going to go diagonal backwards and we're going to go five this time using our black concrete. So again, that's five. And then from here, we're going to go and again, place another door. So up four and then one, two, three. Second pillar, four tall, two stone slabs in the middle. That's going to be our second door. So restroom one or bathroom one, restroom two, bathroom two. Perfect. So in between the section here, nice and simple, black wall first in between black concrete. We're going to go green terracotta first in between blue, blue terracotta first in between green, and then of course wall first, concrete. We're going to extend this over, so again we've got here concrete, so we'll go wall, concrete, wall, concrete, and then behind this door concrete, wall, concrete, wall, and that's going to be that. It's going to continue over, and again we're going to bridge this over until we hit the door. If you've done it correctly, there should be a 12 wide gap. So we're going to head over to the right side again, and as I said before, we're going to go diagonal from the clay here. 12 block gap, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And on top of this, we're going to start off on the left side with our black concrete. We're going to fill in the gaps using our black wall and it should line up perfectly even to the door here. You can see it goes wall, concrete, wall. That is perfect. So again, a solid corridor linking all the way around L shape. That's going to have all the uh, restrooms, party rooms, office, everything coming off of this main corridor. So this, along with the kind of dining area, is going to be the real heart of the build. So it's again hugely hugely uh, impressive shout out to satori um but again if i go up you'll start to see the shape of the corridor so what i'm going to do now and apologies if you can hear a dog going absolutely mental in the background uh is i'm going to pause the video i'm going to finish building up all the walls so what i mean by that is again building up four using the light gray uh, concrete and concrete powder 
building out three using the gray version and I'm going to fill in the floor. So what I mean by filling in the floor, we're going to be exact same pattern as here and we're just going to be extending it. So next to the polished diorite, place black concrete. Next to the black concrete, paste polished diorite. Again, it's going to take a while. I'll also go ahead and fill in the little dark oak sections at the side and I'll be back in a moment once that is complete. Alrighty, and once you've done that, it ends up looking something like this. You can see I've done all the details, built up the walls, added in the floor, and again, it is very, very simple with the floor, a little time consuming, but not too difficult. Anyways, once we've done that, I'll fly up again just so you can kind of get the idea. It's like a backwards L shape. Uh, we are going to start off on the left side. So if we come back to the kind of dining room area, we walk forwards. We come to this first and only door on the left. We are going to pop in here and this is the first room we're going to start making some progress on. So what we're going to do is we are going to grab ourselves our clay blocks and we're going to extend the door backwards by two blocks. So again, we're going to extend it backwards two blocks on all sides. And then in the middle, we are going to grab ourselves our stone slabs as we have done before, expand it back two, and that's going to be this section. Now, the good thing about this is the wall is already built and it's the exact same for this left side right here. We just need to do a bit of measuring. So, of course, on the left side, it's three blocks wide, as you can see. On the right side, we're going to count 15. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So, on this one here, layer number 16, we're going to start building out our right wall. So, what we're going to do is we are going to grab ourselves our black concrete and we're going to expand forwards 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 blocks in total. On top of this, for our second layer, we are going to start off by placing a black concrete. Now, again, the reason behind this is because otherwise there will be a little bit off center on the room. Uh, so, we're going to place black concrete, even though it does line up with that one black wall so let me switch back to my blocks and then we're going to alternate like that so again black concrete first again because of needing to make sure that the room lines up properly and we don't have any doubles uh, we're going to have a little subtle one in the corner so we're going to have a blue terracotta this time and again we're going to alternate uh, so the green is going to be above the black wall and then for the second layer again exact same just opposite so it's going to line up in that corner, not ideal, but not much we can do about it. And then again, above this, we're going to place black concrete first and then black wall in the middle. Above this, again, four layers of light grey, three layers of grey. We're then going to do the rear side. So spin around and we are going to go diagonal once more. And we're going to place a row of 22 black concrete. So nice and simple, 22 black concrete all the way across. That will link up to this wall here. As I said, that's already complete. Done out the way, don't need to worry about. Uh, we're going to start off with black concrete this time. So again, black concrete all the way across, one block gap in between. In all of those gaps, we are going to place a lovely black wall. Uh, above all of this, we're then going to do our layers. So we're going to start off, we've got green here, so we'll start off with blue. So above all of the black concrete blocks, we're going to have a blue terracotta. In between all of those, we're going to have a green terracotta, and we're going to alternate for the second layer, as always. Again, following the exact same kind of details and uh, outline structure, whatever you want to call it, as all of the other rooms we've done so far in the build. Uh, and then for the final layer, again, going back to the black concrete first, so black concrete above all of the green terracotta and then black wall above all of the blue terracotta as always then above the wall you have your concrete powder above your concrete you have your concrete and it's nice and simple i'll do that off camera what i won't do off camera is going to be the floor and the reason behind that is because it is going to be a little bit more uh, kind of complex and difficult to describe uh, so what we will do is factor out uh, the little outer ring because of course what we'll do for that is we are going to have our dark oak stairs. So we'll start off, we'll place two planks, uh, or one plank, two stairs, and then to the side of this we'll have two stairs and a plank, two stairs, plank, two stairs, plank, and we're going to do this all the way around the room. If you've done it correctly, again, it should line up pretty easily, so planks in the corner, and that keeps it nice and simple. And again, we're just going to do this all the way around, and then what I'll do off camera is again place a row of slabs on top, uh, again, just to make it a little less time consuming on the video. And you can see it lines up perfectly, that is great. 
What we're going to do is in this middle section, we're going to add our floor. And the reason why I'm going to be running through the floor is because it's a little crazy, as you can tell by all the various different colored carpets. So let me grab one more slot in my inventory and then we'll crack on. Uh, the materials you'll need, blue concrete, blue wool, light blue carpet, pink carpet, yellow carpet, and lime carpet. So we're going to start off in the top left corner, just to the left of the door. We're going to place one pink carpet. We are then going to place one blue wool, two blue concrete, two blue wool, one blue concrete, one blue wool, three blue concrete, one blue wool, two blue concrete, one blue wool, four blue concrete and one blue wall so again after every single row i'll back up and pause so you can catch up if you need to do so there is going to be eight rows in total so for row number two starting again on the left side we're going to go two blue wall one blue concrete one blue wall we're then going to go one yellow carpet one blue wall one lime carpet one blue concrete one blue wall one blue concrete, two blue wool, one lime carpet, one blue wool, one light blue carpet, one blue concrete, one blue wool, one blue concrete, one lime carpet, and one blue concrete. And that is going to be row number two. For row number three, we are going to do one blue wool, one light blue carpet, one blue wool, one blue concrete, one blue wool, one blue concrete, one blue wall, concrete, wall, and a light blue carpet. We're then going to do two blue concrete, one blue wall, a pink carpet, three blue concrete, one wall, one concrete, and one wall. And again, that is going to be row number three. Please feel free to pause whenever you feel is necessary. This is probably the best uh, opportunity after every row. I'll just back up and give you guys the opportunity to pause. Anyway, starting off now, row number four, we're going to start off with three blue concrete, followed by a wall, followed by one pink carpet, one concrete, one lime carpet, a wall, a concrete, a wall, concrete, wall, concrete, two wall, concrete, wall, light blue carpet, wall, and a yellow carpet. So again, that's going to be row number four. For row number five now, we're going to start off one pink carpet, one blue wall, one lime carpet, two blue wall, one blue concrete, one blue wall, concrete. We're then going to do a yellow carpet, followed by one blue wall, followed by three blue concrete, wall, concrete, three blue wall, one lime carpet, and one blue concrete and again that's going to be row number five for row number six we are going to place a blue wall blue concrete two blue wall one light blue carpet one blue wall one pink carpet five blue concrete so again that's five blue concrete one blue wall one blue concrete three blue wall two blue concrete and one blue wall so again, that is what it's looking like so far. That's going to be the first six layers. Second to last layer now, number seven. I'm going to start off one blue concrete, one yellow carpet, two blue concrete, one blue wall, one blue concrete, one blue wall, blue concrete, light blue carpet, two blue wall, two blue concrete, two blue wall, one blue concrete, one yellow carpet, one blue concrete, one light blue carpet, and one blue wall. And again, that is going to be layer number seven. And that brings us to layer number eight, the final layer. That's going to be one blue wall, one blue carpet, or not carpet, what am I saying? Concrete. That's the, that's the word I'm looking for. Three blue wall, two blue concrete, one blue wall, a concrete a pink carpet, one blue wall, a yellow carpet, a blue concrete, followed by a light blue carpet, lots of carpet on this row, one blue wall, one lime carpet, one blue concrete, one pink carpet, one blue wall, and one blue concrete. And that is going to be layer number eight. 
With regards to the little bit by the entrance in between the door, what we're going to do is we'll continue it over. So we'll do black concrete and then in between polished diorite and it's just going to transition to the carpets once you walk into the room. And that's going to be that room. Of course, I'm going to build up the walls, but I'll do that off camera. We'll do that in a, se uh, a separate section. For the next section, what we'll actually go ahead and do is uh, we'll build two of the party rooms, I guess. Um, and I'll run you through how to do that. And then what we'll do is we'll come back and build up the walls afterwards. But for now, let's spin slightly over to the left to these doors here. So what we'll do, we'll pop through the door. Uh, this is going to be, again, facing towards the office, just to the side of the room we've just built. As we've done before, we're going to grab ourselves our clay and we're going to expand the door two backwards all the way across. And that applies to the uh, stone slabs at the top as well. So expand the stone slabs backwards two blocks and that's going to be door number one. What we're going to do is we are going to start off by measuring out again where we're going to be building. So perk is this wall is already done. We don't need to worry about it. What we will do actually on this one, we'll remove the top two blocks and we'll just leave it as two at the bottom for the third row. Uh, on the left side of the door, we're going to count three. So one, two, three. And on the fourth block, we'll place a black concrete in front. And on the right side, we're going to count six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And on the seventh block, we'll place a black concrete on front. Again, there should be a one block gap between this one and the wall we've just built previously. So again, this is what it should look like so far on this section. What we are going to do is we are then going to go around to the side. Uh, so we'll start off uh, on the right side by expanding this black concrete 19 blocks to the side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So two blocks shorter than the room next door. What we'll then do is we are going to go diagonal. So from here, diagonal, and we're going to go one, two, three to the side, diagonal again, and we're going to place a row of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go diagonal forwards, one, two, three, diagonal forwards, and then build all the way across. It should be 20 wide in total. And if you've done it correctly, it should line up with the black concrete we placed previously. So again, just for perspective, there was a three block gap, a six block gap, this is 20 wide, 3, 7, 3, 20. So again, hopefully that all makes sense. What we are going to do, obviously, is build up all of these sections. So we're going to start off on the bottom corner here with black wall. And we're going to do this all the way around the build. So again, you can see here we've gone black wall and then gap. And we're going to follow this all the way around. So again, gap, we'll go black wall, gap, black wall, gap, black wall and again we'll do this all the way around uh, the exterior of the shape we have just built so it's nice and simple we then get to here and you can see it matches up perfectly and go ahead and place a black concrete in between everything we have just done uh, to add to the second layer of what we are working on with regards to the floor in this room as well it's going to be the polished diorite and the black concrete so again you don't need to worry about that uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to start off so on top of all of the uh, green or on top of what am i saying on top of all of the <laughs> black wall we're going to place a green terracotta so on top of all of the black wall we've just placed we're going to place a green terracotta and then on top of all of the black concrete we're going to go ahead and place a blue terracotta nice and simple again this is the easy way to alternate between the blocks this time we're just doing it kind of as a full room uh, rather than as a side by side but the reason behind that is because of how simple it is this is a very very simple room to do of course one of the walls is already built we're then going to alternate it so above all of the green terracotta we're going to place a blue terracotta following the exact same shape and again i will list out the measurements one more time in a second uh, just in case you missed it before and then in between all of the gaps we place green terracotta and as standard, we'll then go ahead and place on top of this our rows of black wall and black concrete, alternating between the two. In this case, above all of the blue terracotta, we're going to be placing uh, black wall. And then on top of all of the green, we will be placing our black concrete. And again, it's just lots and lots of the same pattern over and over again. But of course, that is the theme of the build, the theme of the restaurant. So hence uh, it coming up every so often. 
So as I do this, again, as I said before, uh, the measurements I will run through. So just to again clarify, this middle section here, seven wide, three wide either side, and then the side walls, both the left and right side, is going to be 20 blocks wide. So again, that's 20 blocks wide on the side. Uh, above all of this, as we have done with the previous rooms and standard uh, of the builds, we are going to grab ourselves our light grey concrete powder and uh, our concrete. And above all of the wall, we'll build up four using concrete powder. Above all of the concrete, we'll build up four using light grey concrete. And then above that, we are going to build up a further layer, or a further free layer, should I say, using our grey variant. So above the light grey concrete powder, we'll build up free using light or our normal grey concrete powder. And above the light grey concrete, we'll build up free using grey concrete. That's going to be this room. Again, nice and simple. Uh, with regards to the uh, dark oak, again, it's going to be rinse and repeat. So we'll grab ourselves our dark oak stairs. We'll place two stairs, one plank, two stairs, one plank, and we're going to do this all the way around the room. What I tend to like to do is just go and leave a two block gap each time and then just go back and fill in the uh, stairs afterwards. What you can also do is if you get to a situation like this where you have got a gap in the corner and it's not going to look uh, too right or it's going to look a little odd, you can just place a second plank. And then what we'll do is we'll place two stairs and a plank. We'll place a second plank in the corner. Then we'll do two stairs, plank, two stairs, plank, plank, two stairs, plank, plank, and then we'll do it like that. And that's probably the easier way of doing it uh, because otherwise you'll have all kinds of planks tucked away in the corner and it just starts looking a little bit odd. So that's the way I've done it. Again, I'll zoom out in a second and show you what it looks like uh, just so you can copy that if you want to. And again, above, don't forget to add the dark oak slabs. So again, there's going to be a row of dark oak slabs over all of these uh, wrapping around the room. And it's going to look, again, very uh, nice. A nice little kind of outline border of the room uh, makes it look a little less boring than if it was just a plain wall with a plain floor. Um, but again, very, very simple to build. So that's what it ends up looking like. Again, we'll be expanding the floor into here following this crisscross pattern. So it's as simple as that. And again, alternating between black concrete and polished Diorite. So that's going to be party room number one. Again, there's a one block gap between that and the previous kind of arcade room we were working on. The next room we're going to be working on is going to be party room number two. Now, the good thing about this is it's the exact same as what we've just built, just mirrored. So what do I mean by this? So essentially, we're going to start off by expanding the door two blocks backwards all the way across. So again, that's two blocks backwards all the way across, including the stone slabs and as we did before we'll punch out the stone slabs on the final layer down two and it's going to give us this kind of door shape now what i mean uh, about the whole exact same but mirrored is on the other side we went three to the left six to the right on this side we're going to go three to the right six to the left so one two three and as you can see here the fourth one is actually going to be the row right next to the previous wall so essentially we're just doubling up the previous wall and then from here on the left side we're going to count six so one two three four five and six so it's the end and then we're just going to do a row of 20 black concrete the good thing is you don't even have to count because you can just line it up with the other side and then as you get to this point we're going to build it in so we're going to go three seven three so again diagonal three diagonal seven and then diagonal three and that's going to give us v shape so again 20 20 3 7 3 in this section again on the left side of the door it's six on the right side it's going to be three in terms of the pattern of course the black wall is here so we're going to place black concrete so it's actually the opposite pattern uh, so behind all of the black concrete place a wall etc etc and the exact same applies for the next section we're going to follow it all the way around the room as we did previously uh, so again alternating between the black concrete and the uh, black wall which i've actually done incorrectly there as you could see um, and then again we have to go back and add in the green and the blue and i think i've gone wrong somewhere around the room <laughs> purely yep there's the one uh, because otherwise it would not match up so again if you have that mistake go back see where you have uh, gone wrong it's not too much of an issue it may even be easier in this case just to uh, do the blocks first because you get out of uh, out of hand you get a little carried away and you start placing them together and it messes it up so again take your time with it 
and uh, don't rush it too much like I'm trying to do, again, just to not bore everyone watching the video, keep it any more entertaining, even though, again, it's just kind of placing the same blocks over and over again. Uh, again, above this, we are going to alternate, so we will grab back our blue and our green terracotta. We're going to start off with our blue terracotta on this section. Again, it's the opposite of the wall next to it. Uh, and again, we'll do that all the way around. So on top of all the black concretes, we're going to place a blue terracotta. On top of all of the black walls, we're going to place a green terracotta. And we're going to alternate it for the second layer. I don't think I need to explain this anymore. Hopefully everyone has this and again uh, is able to do it. Once you've done that, we're going to have a row of black wall and concrete to the exact same. So above all of the green, it's going to be black concrete. Above all the po uh, blue, I was about to say purple. Above all the blue, it's going to be a black wall and then above all that again we're going to alternate between the light gray concrete light gray concrete powder and then eventually the gray concrete and gray concrete powder so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the video here i am going to build up all the walls again this is the exact same as that one just mirrored so three on this side three on this side six on outside six on outside uh, i'm going to do the floors i'm going to build up the walls i'm going to finish it and then I'll be back in a moment once that's complete and we will head round to the next section, which is going to be the office room. So exciting stuff. I'll be back in a moment. OK, so I've gone ahead. I've done all the walls. You can see here what it's now looking like, all looking pretty uniform in the sense that the floor, again, is the exact same. But that'll make a lot more sense once we actually start adding in all the details and making it look a bit more interesting. Uh, so again, that's going to be the what I'm going to call the playroom slash the arcade room. Uh, we've then got party room number one. Party room number two, we're going to have three and four just here. But before we do that, we are going to crack on with the office area, the much uh, anticipated office area. So what I've done, I've actually changed up the floor off camera because I realized it didn't match up. So uh, the blocks are now the opposite way round. Uh, what we're also going to do is we are going to grab ourselves our never brick and also our cobblestone walls. And behind these two blocks here, we're going to build up one, two, three, four and five using our never brick. Exact same on the right side as well. And in this two block gap, we're actually just going to place a two wide section of cobblestone walls. So again, a two wide section of cobblestone walls and then what we're going to do is in front of the cobblestone walls again we're going to build up one two three four and five and one two three four and five and then we're going to grab ourselves our never brick slabs and we're going to place a row of never brick slabs across the top now with this section here you can't really do that uh, because there are going to be some blocks so again uh, we'll have to deal with that in a moment uh, and there's also going to be a few blocks here that we're going to have to change but again we'll sort that for now that's going to be the doorway so what we're going to do is we're going to start off where this never brick is we're going to punch it out and we're going to replace it with a black concrete and we're going to expand six to the left so one two three four five and six Above this, we're going to go black concrete first all the way across. And again, we'll, we'll just replace this for now. Again, keep this first one as never brick. Uh, we're then going to grab ourselves our black wall and we're going to place black wall in between. And then we're going to grab once more our elusive blue and green terracotta. We're going to start off with blue terracotta. So above all of the black concrete, a blue terracotta. And then we're going to go vice versa with the green terracotta. On top of this, again, we're going to place our black wall and our black concrete concrete first of course uh, and then we're going to repeat this on the right side so nice and simple again black concrete one two three four five six so seven in total again we'll just get rid of this so it's easier and we're going to go black concrete first all the way across wall in between blue terracotta first with green in between green first with blue in between and then concrete first with wall in between that's the general gist we are going for Above all of this, we're going to place our blocks, which are going to be going all the way across. Uh, what we will need to do is in this section, we're going to have to have a bit of trickery uh, because otherwise the blocks are just going to fall down and it's, uh, it's not going to look too great. So what we want to do is we are going to place a never brick either side. And then what we'll do behind this is we'll place a row of never brick slabs uh, like so. And then we'll just do a row of never brick slabs above like there uh, and the reason we want to do that is just because otherwise as i said the blocks will fall down 
So we are going to grab ourselves our light grey concrete and our light grey concrete powder. And we're going to start off, obviously, because it's the concrete block, by building up four using light grey concrete, concrete powder, and we're going to alternate uh, between the two. And this is going to continue all the way across the central door, uh, as you can see, to the right side. In between that, as expected, we're going to place our concrete powder. And then above this, we of course do our three layers of gray. I'll do that off camera. Again, it's just so you can see kind of how it goes over the door arch. And that is gonna be the front wall and the door of the office area. So again, nice and simple. We are going to then rotate round to the side. So we're gonna go around to this side. We're gonna grab ourselves our black concrete. And we are going to go diagonal from here. One, two, and three. We're then going to go diagonal forwards, place a never brick block. We're going to leave a two block gap, never brick block. Go backwards diagonal, and we're going to place a row of six black concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. The next step we are going to do is we'll actually build this across. So we'll just build it across using our black concrete. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to place a row of four never brick slabs linking left side to right side. And I've done a horrific job with that. Uh, so again, <laughs> try not to do it as bad as I have. Place a stone button on either side, and then what we're going to do is we're going to place a clay block underneath each side, the left side and the right side, and that's going to be one of the tunnels that's going to link around part of the build. So again, just to go back to here, three block gap on the left side, and then a six block gap on the right side. Above all of this, we're going to alternate between the black and uh, black wall and black concrete. And again, we're going to start off with the black wall on the left side. We're then, for the layer on top of this, again, going to go back to alternating between the blue and green. Starting off with green, so above all of the black walls, we're going to have a green terracotta. And then in between all of them, we're going to have blue terracotta with a green uh, terracotta in the middle, sandwiched rather nicely. So again, it's the exact same procedure as we've been doing over and over again. This one is going to be 13 wide in total, 12 tall in total as always. Uh, and again, above that, we'll alternate between the light grey concrete powder, light grey concrete, concrete powder, etc, etc. You get the idea. I'm going to be doing it off camera. For the rear side of the build, we'll spin around or face towards the outer wall. We are going to come to the bottom corner. We're going to go diagonal, and we're going to place a row of 19 black concrete. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We'll then go diagonal, and if you've done it correctly, it should link up right in the corner with that block just there so that's perfect but we'll focus on this part for now we're going to start off for the second layer with our black concrete first and again it's going to be alternating between black concrete and black wall so black wall sandwiched in the middle then on top of all of the black concretes we're going to place blue terracotta so again going all the way across all the way back slightly tedious at this point you probably get that feeling but again we are making such good progress again let's just keep going and then once we get into the details of the build, that is where the real fun uh, begins or the stress begins, however you may look at it. Personally, I actually really uh, like building large kind of similar items. Uh, it's quite kind of relaxing, if you will, uh, but others find it boring. It is what it is. Let me know in the comment section below what is your preference. You probably got that by the fact that I built the massive uh, hide and seek map ages ago now, like four years ago. Um, and that's a much bigger scale where each block was four to one. So you get the idea. I like building big and I like going crazy um, and not so much a fan of the small details. But anyways, that is the rear side. Again, above all of these, uh, we'll build up four using the light greys. Uh, so on top, if I can find them on top of this, it's going to be four and then four, etc., etc. That's going to go all the way around. And on top of that, it's going to be three grey, three grey concrete powder, great concrete etc etc exact same for this side so it comes to the final side uh we're going to start off this time with black wall and then alternate between the two there is going to be another tunnel on this side or a vent whatever you want to call it uh which is going to link to various parts of the build obviously um and we'll cut out a little section in a second for that by now, uh, we'll just go ahead on top of all the black walls. Whilst I've been kind of talking about other stuff, on top of all the black walls, we have green terracotta, and then we're alternating it between the two. And then on top of this, on top of all the uh, 
blue terracotta, we're going to have a black wall and then black concrete in between. And it is simple as that. Now, with regards to the tunnel on this side, uh, what we're going to do, we'll come to the right corner. We're going to leave a three block gap and then we're going to place one never brick, two block gap, never brick. We're going to grab ourselves our never brick slab. So one, two, three, four across the top. We're going to grab ourselves our stone buttons, one on the left, one on the right. And then we'll grab ourselves our clay block, punch out two underneath, and it's going to look like that. And that's going to be the general gist of the room. I know it doesn't look like the room, uh, and that's because we haven't built half the walls. But again, I don't want to be repeating the same thing over and over again. It is exactly the same as what we have been working on. And talking of exactly the same, <laughs> we're now going to move on to the next section, which is the exact same as what we have been doing previously so the next section is going to be party room three and then ultimately party room four so we're going to come back through the door here again i'll do this all off camera i'll come back to it i'll show you what it looks like don't you worry uh one thing i will say as well which i almost forgot about is you want to make sure to do the dark oak stairs going around uh the various parts of the room so again two stairs uh followed by a plank and we're going to do that all the way around the room uh again if you have a corner section like that just double it up if it doesn't line up properly and then just do that all the way around the room and it's going to look super super nice slabs on top um and again keeps it keeps it looking cool but anyways that is that i will get to this and finish it off camera again any questions, let me know in the comment section below. We're going to go to this door here. So we will waddle through the door and we're going to take a sharp turn to our left. This immediate door, come through, spin around, and we're going to crack on with party room number three. So for party room number three, what we're going to do is same as before. We're going to expand the door backwards two blocks and we'll do the exact same with the stone slabs at the top. So one, two, one, two. Remove the two clay at the side and the two slabs in the middle. And that's going to give us our doorway. Now, with regards to the measurements for this section, it's going to be an exact carbon copy of the one opposite. Uh, so we're going to go three to the left. So one, two, three, and then a black concrete. And then we're going to go six to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we'll go diagonal here and place one apart from that that wall is complete so again nice and simple we will be adding the stairs as always uh, but again relatively easy anyways for the next section the side walls what we're going to do we've got the one block here the walls are going to be 20 blocks wide so we're going to extend 19 blocks to the side so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, so 20 in total. Again, exact same applies for this side. So we've got our first one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We are then going to go in diagonal. We're going to place 1, 2, 3. Then we're going to place 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In diagonal, 1, 2, 3, and that's going to be the shape of the room. So again, three and six and then 20 three seven three 20 that is the shape of the room again very simple now there is one slight uh difference between this and the room opposite and uh, we won't really get to that until we've done the majority of the detailing uh we'll start off on top of this by doing our black concrete so again we go around the room and we're going to leave a one block gap all the way around placing black concrete and then we're going to go through and alternate it using our black wall once we've done that we'll then go ahead and alternate uh, with the green and the blue terracotta uh, so again it's that same procedure the same thing that you've been doing all the way through the build so far um, and the only real difference is that we're going to be adding another vent or another uh, what would be the word tunnel if you will uh, as I'm doing that and as I'm talking about that again on top of all the black concrete you're going to place a blue terracotta and then on top of all of the black wall we are going to place a green terracotta and then we're going to alternate for the second layer so again once we've done this we'll go all the way back around the room alternating between the green terracotta and the blue terracotta and then we're going to do that for the second layer so again above all of the blue we're going to place a green and above all of the green we're going to place a blue it is very very self-explanatory and again shouldn't be too difficult and as we continue round again above all of the blue terracotta it's just going to be a simple green fill in the gaps with blue terracotta and then once again above all of this we're going to do our layer of the black concrete and black wall so above all of the 
black, uh, or sorry, the blue terracotta, we are going to go ahead and place our black wool, and then above all of the green, we are going to place our black concrete and it's again very very self-explanatory once you get into the hang of it the swing of it if you will uh, it's going to make uh, a very very easy build now apart from that the rest of it is going to be the exact same logic not that it was particularly different uh, anyways but we are going to rinse and repeat for the second room party room number four and that's again going to be the exact same measurements but it's going to be three blocks on this side and six on this side so again, what we'll do is we'll jump into building the floor and the outer bit and the walls uh, off camera. And then we'll swiftly move on to this room where we are going to count three. Before we do that, we're going to double up the door. So we're going to bring it two blocks backwards all the way across. And again, exact same logic applies. We'll bring the stone slabs backwards. Then we'll punch out two clay blocks either side, the two slabs, two clay blocks. And then, as I said before, we're going to count one, two, three, and we're going to place a row of 20 black concrete. So 20 black concrete, exact same length as this one. We're then going to go to this side, and we're going to count six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And on the seventh block, again, extend out 20 blocks using your black concrete. You don't even need to count at this point. You can just build the exact same length. Once we've got the two strips of 20, we're going to go three, diagonal seven and then diagonal once more and three and again it's going to be the exact same pattern so above here obviously because we have finished off with a black concrete here we're going to start off with black wool so we are going to do black wool all the way across with our gaps in the middle and this is going to wrap around the whole room so again we are doing it all the way around leaving a one block gap in between and then once we get around to the other side, you should see it matches up perfectly. So we've got black wool that goes straight into black concrete. If it doesn't, that is kind of alarm bells that something hasn't gone quite to plan. And it's just a simple case of going back and editing it slightly. Again, this wall will connect with the wall next door. However, it will be a different pattern. So you can see here we've got blue terracotta. However, if we were to place a blue terracotta here, it wouldn't line up perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and above all of the black walls, we're going to place a green terracotta. So again, above all of the black walls for party room number four is going to be a green terracotta we're then going to switch out to the blue terracotta and place a blue terracotta in between all of the lovely green terracottas and we're going to do this again all the way around the room at this point it should all make sense it should all be really really simple again we're then going to go back and place a blue terracotta on top of all of the green wrapping around the room and then we'll go back once more and fill in all the gaps with our green terracotta so again that's going to be the party room so there's four in total they're all the exact same it's just two of them are obviously mirrored onto each other uh, so it's just the same dimensions just flipped uh, so three on one side six on the other and then on the others it's going to be six on one side and three on the other so again that's going to be the walls once we've done that above all of the blue terracottas go ahead and place our black wall and that's going to be again nice and simple and then above all of this we're going with the same logic for the walls so it's going to be four layers of light gray and three layers of gray on top of all of the wall blocks we're going to be placing concrete powder on top of all the concrete blocks we're going to be placing obviously concrete on top of that again so four layers of light gray three layers of gray and that's going to bring you up to the exact same height as all the others in terms of the uh, dark oak kind of stair combo you can see here what we went with uh, so you can see in the corners we'll go with two either side exact same with these corners here and we're going to replicate this on the other side so essentially what you have here will be the exact same as what you have over here so it's as simple as just copying it over and again we'll do the majority of this off camera for the floor again it's going to be the checkerboard pattern so just continuing in from the hallway using our black concrete and polished diorite uh, and again very very simple so that's going to bring us to the next section which is going to be the kind of parts and maintenance behind the scenes if you will section uh, we're going to come to the two doors just here just on the con uh, corner the turn i was about to say the turner uh, that's not the word i'm looking for we'll come through these two doors right about here and uh, we're going to instantly switch around and face towards them 
So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by figuring out the left side. So again, just like we've done on the other ones, we're going to extend the doors two blocks backwards. On these ones, we're not actually going to delete anything. So we'll just extend them all backwards two blocks, including the slabs. So again, the clay blocks, the slabs, and you are good to go. So it's going to be door number one and door number two. What we are going to do is above these, we're going to place a row of four stone slabs on each. And again, that's going to make them look the exact same as the doors on this side. Uh, so again, it's kind of just continuing through. Unlike these ones are slightly different. So door number one, the one on the left, what we're going to do is we're going to count six blocks to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you can see here that is perfect. That is lined out and that's that part of the wall complete. In the middle, there should be a five block gap. If you've done it correctly, again, you can see we have indeed. So it's a five block gap. And on the right side, we have a four Set, uh, wide gap what we're going to do is on the fourth block we're going to place a row of seven black concrete so one two three four five six seven and on top of this we're going to start off with black concrete we're going to go black concrete wall concrete wall uh wall and concrete uh, i said that completely off sync with what i was actually doing on camera on top of this obviously we have green here so we're going to go blue first so on top of all the black concrete we're going to place blue on top of all the wall green and we're going to go vice versa uh, and then on top of this again starting off with the concrete first wall second that's going to be our wall so on top of this we're going to have again a four high section of light gray and then a three high section of gray what we're then going to do is take a sharp curve so we're going to go around to the right side and we're going to start bringing it out this way so what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves our black concrete from this block here we're going to go diagonal outwards and we're going to place a row of nine black concrete so one two three four five six seven eight and nine on top of this we're going to start off on the left side with black wall so again alternate between black wall fill in the gaps with black concrete and because we left off with the blue terracotta here we're going to start off with green so above all of the black wall we're going to place green terracotta above all the black concrete blue terracotta alternate for the second row fill in the gaps with the alternative block and then above all of the blues we're going to place black wall and in the gaps of course black concrete so you can see here how it's kind of curved around so immediately when you come through the door you've got a wall in front of you it's then going to curve around again so we're going to come around to the corner face towards the edge of the wall and we're going to extend two blocks to the right so we'll just extend it over so one concrete one wall we'll then go blue green green blue and then of course concrete and wall and that's going to be the little curve in the wall this is going to take us to the rear wall of this section of the build uh, where there's going to be another door taking us through to an additional back room so what we're going to do is we're going to go diagonal from the black concrete here to this block we're then going to go two blocks to the right we're going to go diagonal forwards with a block of clay leave a two block gap place one clay we're going to go diagonal backwards using black concrete and expand to the right five blocks so one two three four and five on the clay blocks here we're going to build up three so four in total one two three exact same with this one one two three and we'll save ourselves some work later we'll expand this two backwards uh, on both of them so one and two and again that's just going to save us a little bit of work later on in the build we'll also place our stone slabs in the middle on the top row and we're also in the outer layer and the furthest layer going to place a row of four slabs don't place it in the middle because this is going to be where part of the wall will be uh, in regards to the second layers we're going to start off so we've left off with black wall here so we're going to go concrete first and then one wall in the middle on this side we're going to go wall first and then concrete wall concrete wall concrete uh, going back to the left side for the next layer we left off a green so we're going to go on top of uh, the black concrete using our blue terracotta green in the middle exact same on this side so green blue green blue green blue and alternate for the second layer like so and then once we've got that we're going to do a solid row all the way across using our black concrete and wall so we're going to start off concrete above all of the green leave a one block gap when you're going above the door and it should line up perfectly and again again fill in all the gaps using black wall and that's going to be this rear wall where the door is we're then going to curve around one final last time and then we're going to present another door which is going to go again into an additional room if you've done it correctly what we're going to do is we're going to go diagonal from here we're going to place one two three we are then going to build up one two three four using clay one two three to the side down to the floor and you're going to have again a four wide by four tall doorway bring it one block forwards 
and also if you can actually place properly which apparently I can't do right now I'm having an absolute nightmare with the block placement uh, then place it one block backwards and to the right of this in the middle one we're going to go one two three to the right just like we did on this side in the middle here we're not actually going to place clay I've just realized did a, a bit of a horror uh, job there we're going to go ahead and place stone slabs and then on the first one and the nearest one we'll place four stone slabs uh, again so we can bridge over with the wall in the bottom sections, we are going to start off with black wall with a concrete in the middle. This side, exact same wall with concrete in the middle. We're going to start off on the left side, green, blue, green. And then on top, blue, green, blue. And on the right side, green, blue, green. And then blue, green, blue. Above this, we're going to cap it off nice and simply, starting off with black wall. So above the blue terracottas and in between, we'll place a uh, black wall and then on this side just place one on the green and then what we'll do is place black concrete in the gaps as you can see here it matches up with the black concrete that's not an issue doesn't matter uh, at all so what we will then go ahead and do is as i said before above all of the black concrete place four light gray concrete and on top of that three gray concrete and above all the walls we're going to place four light gray concrete powder and then on top of that three gray concrete powder the floor in here again exact same logic applies it's going to be black uh, concrete and the polished uh, diorite blocks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here I'm going to fill in the floors the walls uh, and also the oak or dark oak trims or outlines in the party rooms and I'll come back and on camera we'll run through this room uh, once we've done that we've got kind of two spin-off rooms off the side of this and then we got the two bathrooms and then we are good to go. That's going to wrap it up. So again, making really, really good progress. Once again, I'll pause the video here and I'll be back in a second once we have uh, something to show you. Alrighty, I've gone ahead. I filled in the walls you can see here, including the office as well. Uh, let's have a quick little sneak peek at the office. You can see, again, it's the exact same procedure with all the walls. Four up using light grey, three up using normal grey. Of course, the floor again mixes in with the yellow here and then goes out into the wider of the polished diorite and black concrete. Uh, we then have party rooms three and four over here. Again, exact same as what we've been working with previously. And then once we get into the kind of behind the scenes parts and maintenance area, uh, I've left the actual dark oak border and we'll do that on camera. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off facing towards the two doors. In the far left corner, we're going to place a dark oak plank and then to the left of it two stairs so right of it we'll place two uh, stairs one plank and two stairs and then of course going over to the right two stairs plank and two stairs and then once we get into the far kind of right corner again we're going to go two stairs one plank turn two stairs plank two stairs plank turn two stairs plank two stairs plank two stairs plank and then on this corner bit here, turn again, two stairs, plank, two stairs. And then we're just going to continue this around. So two stairs, plank, two stairs, plank, and two stairs. So it lines up perfectly, as you can see. And then we'll just go around the perimeter of the room, adding in the slab across the top. And that's going to be nice and simple, as you can see on a screen right now. So again, that is going to be the perimeter trim if you will for this room again nice and easy and what we'll do now is we're going to bridge out into the two rooms behind this so we've got a room through either door uh, we'll start off with the left door so this one right here we'll pop on through and again bear in mind you should have extended it two blocks backwards from the original part so it should be a one block extension on the wall so the wall is kind of what we're starting off with we are going to have to extend it out a few blocks either way but again we'll worry about that in a second so again extend the door one out so it's sticking one block forwards from the rest of the wall uh, what we're then going to do is we're going to count to the left nine blocks so we've got one two three four five six we're going to go seven eight and nine and we're going to extend everything we've got here three blocks over to the left so we'll switch out to the black wall so again we'll do black wall black concrete of course we've got a blue terracotta so we'll do green blue and again just extend everything out three blocks to the left including again the kind of higher up parts you don't have to do uh, i don't have to do this on camera because obviously at this point in the build hopefully you'll all have this kind of nailed down and figured out but again i'll just do it because it's simple uh, so again that is nine blocks to the left so originally it was six we're extending it by further three blocks it's now going to be nine 
On the right side, we have got a three block extension to the right, and we're going to turn it into nine, so we're going to extend a further six blocks. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And again, we'll do the exact same, this time just using six blocks. So again, extending it over to the side on top of all of the black walls. We're going to place green terracotta. We're going to alternate between the blocks. Apologies if you can hear my controller squeaking like crazy in the background. Uh, and again, make sure that it alternates between the wall and the concrete. And then once you get up to this point, the concrete powder and the concrete with, of course, the concrete powder being above the wall and the concrete being above the concrete. We'll then do three layers of our grey and that's going to bring us up to the top. This wall is going to now be 22 blocks wide. It's going to be 12 blocks tall as standard. It's going to be 9 to the left, 9 to the right and then 4 in the middle. So that's going to be our front uh, part of the room once you come through the door. What we're then going to do is we're going to bridge out to the right side. So again, we're going with this kind of funky uh, diagonal shapes or corner right angle shapes. We're going to go to the corner, so diagonal, and we're going to extend six to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's seven blocks in total. We left off with black concrete here, so we're going to start off with black wool. Alternate again between the black concrete. We're going to start off with green terracotta. So above all of the black walls, place a, black, a uh, green terracotta. Then in between blue terracotta, alternate between the two. And then for the final layer that I'm going to do on camera, again, start off with black wool. So above all of the blue terracotta, fill in the gaps with black concrete. And then above, obviously, again, above the wall, it's going to be concrete powder. Above the concrete is going to be concrete. We're then going to take another sharp turn to the right. We're going to go diagonal again, and this time we're going to go six to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, we're going to start off black concrete, wall, concrete, wall, concrete, wall. And then on top of this, because we left off a green, on top of all of the black uh, black concrete, we're going to place green, or sorry, not green. I'm getting completely messed up with my colors. We're going to be placing blue terracotta, and then in between, we're going to be placing green, and then alternate again with the blue terracotta. Up to the layer above, again, above all of the greens, we're going to place black concrete. Above all the blues, we'll place black wool. Ends up looking something like this. We're going to come around to the corner again and we're going to extend out to the right. So this time we're going to go one, two to the right. We are going to extend black concrete, black wall. We're going to go blue, green, and then green, blue. And then just like before, black wall, black, uh, black concrete, black wall. And it's going to give you a shape that looks like this. Again, kind of similar, reminiscing of the room in here. So if we pop back into here, you can see how it's got that kind of corner angle. That is what we are going to be working with. So we're going to go back through the door again, so facing the front way towards the outer wall. From this area here, we're going to go diagonal, and we're going to extend 10 blocks to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're then going to go in diagonal and bring it forwards 1, 2, 3, and that's going to extend out to the side. Uh, again, this is kind of following the same shape as this one, so it goes kind of out to the side and then back in. So, again, continuing where we left off, starting off on the left side, black concrete. We're going to leave gaps in between, and then we're going to place in between the black wall. On top of this, we're going to place blue terracotta on top of all of the black concrete, green terracotta on top of all the black wall, alternate between the two blocks, and then we're going to cap it off with a layer again. Starting off with black concrete, so above all the green terracottas, we're going to place a black concrete, then fill in the gaps using a black wall. So the right side of this, again, we're going to continue the pattern. So black wall, concrete, wall, concrete. We've got green here, so we're going to go blue, green, blue. And then next layer is blue, green, blue, green. On top of this, again, concrete, wall, concrete. And that's going to be that section. Again, above all of these, four up using light grey. Uh, on top of wall, concrete, powder. On top of concrete, concrete. And then on top of that, three blocks of grey of the equivalent. So from this block here, we're going to extend five blocks to the right so one two three four five above this again alternate black wall and black concrete we'll continue over with the green and the blue so above all of the uh, wall we're going to place blue terracotta and then in between all the gaps place green terracotta and then alternate between wall and concrete we're then going to take one final sharp turn and this is going to be the final side we're going to place a row of seven black concrete and then on this one we're going to start off concrete wall concrete wall concrete wall concrete we're then going to build up a layer so we're going to start off with blue terracotta on top of all of the black concrete green terracotta in the middle bits blue terracotta in between and then for our final layer again concrete on top of all the greens black wall in all the gaps and that's going to be the outline 
of the room. So again, it's got that kind of, I, I don't know the way to really describe it. It almost looks like the front of uh, like a building, uh, the front of like the White House almost, you see how it's got like the side wings and then the central bit in the middle, just need a dome on top. Uh, but you get what I mean. It's got the two sides and then it's got that central back bit. Again, there will be a lot of detail in these rooms, uh, but for now it's very, very simple. What I'll do afterwards is I'll build up the walls, I'll also fill in the floor. Again, the floor is just kind of following the exact same pattern as we had before, bouncing between the polished andesite and the black concrete, and then the exact same with the uh, stairs going around the edge. So again, it'll be two stairs, one plank, two stairs, one plank, two stairs, one plank, and that's going to wrap around this entire room. We're not going to worry about that on camera. What we will, however, do is swiftly go into the next room, which is going to be this one right on here. So let's pop through this door and then let's spin around face towards it. It's going to currently be looking something like this. So we've built up a bit of it. Again, it's a bit crazy, a bit random at the moment. Uh, of course, at the current point, we have the door, so it's a one block extension forwards. We've then got three to left and three to right. On the right side, we then go diagonal and we've got this two wide section. We're going to extend this out a third block and then essentially it's just adding on one to everything we've already previously built. Uh, so that makes it nice and simple. And then again, here it would just be four of our light grey concrete and uh, four of, of sorry, three of our grey concrete. And again, that's going to extend out one. Uh, what we're then going to do is we're going to go to the side one. Now, what you see here, we have this little... Uh, messy bit now what you can do is you can change that in the other room so you can make it too wide or you can just keep it like this in this room either way it's not perfect you're going to have that one section where it doesn't line up properly there's not much you can really do about it if you want to switch it around and hit in the other room again it, it makes it a problem in the other room so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off at the third block so on the fourth block we are going to bridge it outwards so we are going to bring it out seven so one two three four five six seven and then we're going to extend this round. Uh, so in the case of here, we have black wall. So we'll start off black concrete. We'll then place black wall in between. We've left off a green. So we're going to start off with blue terracotta on top of all of the black concrete. And then again, alternate between V2. And then for the top, again, starting off black concrete. So on top of all the green, we're going to place black concrete in between black wall. So again, you see in the corner, not ideal. Uh, there is not really much we can do about it. If you switch it round, it's gonna have the exact same problem. Uh, the kind of thing you could potentially do is you could just delete it. And what this gives us is a bit more of a weird angle, uh, but it means you don't have that kind of double up uh, mess, if you will. So again, I actually on reflection kind of like just deleting it. <laughs> feel free to do whatever you feel is best. Uh, on reflection, I've changed my mind, I'm deleting it. So again, as standard, we'll just be building these bits up. So four up using light gray, three up using gray. Uh, what we'll then do is we're gonna go from this part here, diagonal to side, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And again, we're gonna start off. Um, this time we will go black wall, and then we're gonna alternate between them. And then on top of it, again, we'll go green terracotta, blue terracotta, blue terracotta, green terracotta and then wall first obviously to match what we have on the lower layer so again just for perspective we got three two two si uh, six that's seven i can't count and then six so seven and six and it's currently looking something like this we're going to come to the side of this one here so facing towards the outer wall we're going to extend two to the right and again extend the equivalent block so one two one two and one two and then we're going to go into a kind of long straight. But for now, it should be looking something like this. Again, I'll zoom out just and kind of see what we're working with. Uh, and so you can pause if necessary. If that helps, it helps you catch up. Uh, whatever is best for you. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to go back to this free wide section. We're going to go diagonal outwards. And we're going to extend nine to the right. So it's going to be ten in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So again, ten in total. We're going to start off. Uh, with our black wall so again alternating between the black wall and the black concrete we left off with blue terracotta so we're going to start off with green so above all of the wall we're going to place green and then above all of the green we're going to place blue and again you get the idea uh, I've probably said this a million times in the video you're probably bored out of your mind but again just to really reinforce that idea make sure you're doing it correctly uh, and then on top we're going to place our row of black concrete and black wall starting off with black wall that's going to be 10 wide uh, what we're then going to do is we're going to start swiveling round and going back towards the doorway 
So for the doorway, what we're going to do is we're going to start off from here. We're going to go diagonal and we're going to build another row of 10 wide black concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're then going to go diagonal forwards, one, two, three, and then one, two to the right. And it should link up diagonally with this block right here. And again, there should be a free block gap between that wall and the door. As you can see, that lines up perfectly. What we'll then do is we'll go ahead and we'll go wall, all the way across again leaving a one block gap in between you will have this section here that doesn't line up 100% uh, perfect but again that's just kind of what we have uh, and then again fill in all the gaps with black concrete and then we'll work our way around so we'll start off using green on top of all of the black wall and as I said you'll get a two wide section here that doesn't fit uh, perfectly but there is not much we can do about that and again because it's in the corner it's kind of tucked away it's not too noticeable so it's not too much of a big deal we're then going to add our final layer so again above all of the blue terracotta we're going to place a black wall in between go ahead and place your black concrete and that's going to be the shape of the room so again i will zoom out so you can see that's what it looks like from above just for measurements we have got again three two two seven six three ten ten three 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 so again, that's what it looks like. And of course, I'll build up the walls and fill in the floor off camera. But that's going to be this room. Again, you also want to do the dark oak around the edges. Uh, but again, very, very simple. We'll do that off camera. So that's going to be the kind of parts and maintenance rooms, all three of them in total, uh, the behind the scenes, if you will. That leaves us now with two final rooms, and that's going to be the bathrooms, uh, both the male and female bathroom, uh, to be more specific. So we're going to come back down the corridor, and we're going to come just to the right of that brick kind of mess. And again, that's just a small detail. We'll explain that more in a future video. We're going to come through this first door. So the one nearest to the brick, not the one nearest to the uh, actual dining area. So this one here, Come into the room and what we're going to start off by doing as we do in all of our new rooms is we are going to expand the doorway two blocks backwards all the way across. We can do that on the door over here as well. Saves us a bit of time in a moment uh, because we will have to do it. So again, two blocks backwards using all of the clay and exact same using our stone slabs. So it gives us a one block setback of the door. Again, we're going to be working on the right one towards the brick first. Uh, so don't get confused. What we are also going to do is we're going to count. So to the left, we're going to go one, two, and then we're going to place on the third block a black concrete. And on the right side, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And on the seventh block, we're going to place a black concrete. Go ahead and punch out the two black concrete covering up those brick holes. Uh, that's the only two we're going to be doing that on. And then again, on this one, this is going to be where the wall is going to be. So again, on the left, it's two wide. On the right, it's going to be six wide. What we're going to do, of course, because that wall is complete, we're just going to worry about the right side. Uh, so we're going to extend this black concrete here. We're going to go 12 blocks to the right. So it's 13 in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it will line up with the exact same length as this wall. And then again, you're going to do black concrete all the way across because the first one is black concrete, as we had to place before. Fill in the gaps with black wall, and that's going to be that wall. Again, that is 13 blocks wide. We're going to start off with blue terracotta, so above all of the black concrete, place a blue terracotta. In between, we're going to place, of course, a green terracotta. We're going to alternate it for a second layer, fill in the gaps using blue terracotta. And then on top of this, we're going to place our black concrete. So above all of the green terracotta, place a black concrete and then in between all of the gaps we're going to place a black wall it's going to end up looking something like this that is 13 blocks wide and then again above this four up using the uh, gr light gray and then three up using the normal gray we're going to take a swivel round to the rear side of the room uh, what we're going to do is a 12 wide section so we're going to go diagonal and we're going to place a row of 12 black concrete one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve We'll then go diagonal and we'll build all the way across. And if you've done it correctly, it should line up with that marker we placed earlier. What we're going to do, we left off with black concrete. So we're going to do black wall first. We can do this all the way around if you want. It makes it probably slightly quicker. So that will link up in the, all the gaps. Again, place black concrete. And wow, my controller, it really be squeaking. Probably need to oil it or uh, put some, <laughs> get a new one, whatever, replace the trigger. That's how many blocks I've been placing is it is just getting squeaky and it's really quite 
irritating but again hopefully it's not uh, too noticeable in the video apologies if it is uh, as I've been waffling about that we have been going ahead and placing the blue and the green again it's very self-explanatory so you probably figured out without me even needing to say what to do what we're going to be doing and again the next step as always is going to be placing the black above so above all of the blue terracottas we're going to place a black wall and then above all of the green terracottas we're going to place a black concrete and that is going to wrap up bathroom number one i can't remember off the top of my head which one it is whether it's the male or female bathroom uh there are slight differences one has kind of cubicles as you'd expect uh, and the other one has a few different kind of varieties of blocks in it but again not too much difference in the overall scheme of things uh you will not need to place the dark oak borders in these rooms because as i said they'll be slightly different uh so don't worry about that however with the floor again we will be going with the black concrete and polished direct crisscross again i'll do that off camera just like i will build up the walls so again that is what it's looking like so far in terms of the next room bathroom number two we're going to share the middle wall so this wall here we're going to share between v2 we'll come around to the right side and again there is going to be a two block gap on the right side and on the left just to mirror what we had on that side it's going to be a six block gap so one two three four five and six on the seventh block we are going to extend it outwards 13 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 we'll then go diagonal and all the way to the side until we hit that wall right there and again that's going to be the outline for our bathroom just as we left off with black wall here we'll start off with black concrete and again that's going to go all the way around with a one block gap in between and then in all those one block gaps we're going to fill it in with black wall it's very much kind of building off what we have in the middle bit uh, that we did in the previous room so you can see here we left off with green so we're going to start off with blue so above all the black concretes we're going to place a blue terracotta and then in between all of this we're going to place a green terracotta uh, and then on top of it we'll alternate and then we'll wrap up with the black concrete and black wall and that will be pretty much all the structure again i'll uh finish it off camera but again it is very very simple and that's going to wrap up uh this kind of internal structure part of the tutorial what i'll do is i'll finish this and i'll zoom out and show you what it should be looking like so far you should have again a really really awesome uh view at this point of all the different rooms in the build so if i fly up again it will look a lot nicer once the walls and floors are complete but you can start to see just how much progress we've made in these past two videos obviously a lot of space if you want to add some kind of crazy hidden rooms and secret compartments you're more than welcome to do so uh, but that is going to be the overall structure of the build uh, so again what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video here i'll be back in a moment once i have finished building the walls and the floor and then we'll wrap up today's video okay and just like that it ends up looking like this i've spent a bit of time off camera building up all the walls so you can see the uh, various rooms back here i've also added the dark oak trim around the edge of the room and then in these ones i've just added the floor um, and of course we don't need to add the dark oak Finishing touch, which I forgot to mention before and didn't actually do on the doors, is just to put a layer of stone slabs across the top uh, for these ones in particular. I'll double check if I've done that on the other ones because I might not have. I have actually done it, so don't worry. I'm uh, I'm on the ball with that one. Uh, but again, just a small touch makes it look a little bit nicer. Uh, but once you've done that, it ends up looking something like this. That is the build so far and we are making awesome, awesome progress. Once again, there's going to be another, I'd say, two parts, probably at least, uh, left in the build where we're going to be doing the various details. So we, again, kind of focusing on this area first and then coming back and working on some of the kind of back rooms. Uh, but again, I really do hope you're enjoying this series so far. And if you are, a like is very much appreciated. And if you haven't already, you're one of the 80% of viewers that haven't subscribed. Definitely consider subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications so you get notified every time I upload. As mentioned at the start of the video as well, if you want to pick up one of the BenQ screen bar e-reading lamps, uh, I'll put a link in the description. I've really enjoyed using mine, and I'm not saying that just for the sake of it. I really have genuinely enjoyed using it, and it's uh, really beneficial, particularly for someone like me who works generally quite late into the evenings. I'm quite nocturnal, if you will. Um, it, I've really enjoyed having a small source of light, so I don't have to sit here like blaring LEDs everywhere. Um, not necessarily too great for your eyes. Uh, so having this small lamp which kind of lights up my desk and screens is really helping my eyes it's helping get rid of the headaches uh, especially that you get when you're looking at screens all day like I generally am uh, whether that's a good thing or not uh, and again I've really really enjoyed having it it's a simple device 
but effective. So uh, I'll say that. And again, there'll be a link in the description if you want to go check it out. Uh, again, I wasn't paid to say that. I was sent out one for free uh, to give it a try and I wholeheartedly do endorse it. So again, link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, but apart from that, once again, that is the video complete. Thank you to Satori for the awesome design. As always, his information will be in the description below. I'll wrap up the video here. Until next time, my name has been Tom Montgomery and goodbye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light